Hi, Dave Lawrence here from calfonts.com. I hope you enjoy this FontLab 7 video. The first part of the toolbar are the white and black arrows, which are the things that help you select. So if I'm here in the letter, and if I push the, the white one, this allows you to select the smaller things, which are the nodes like this, and the handles and all that. If I go to the black one, then I can select these bigger shapes and move the whole thing around. So that, that's the deal with those two. We are going to be looking at the elements tool. Okay, so elements is somewhat of a complex subject. What you do with elements is you, it's like you're using building blocks in order to build your letters instead of just drawing them outright. So take a look at our other videos about that. I'm just gonna show you a couple basic things that you need to know how to do inside the tool. So first thing is I'm gonna show you how to separate these into two different elements. Right now it's in two contours but it's in one element. So if you look at the elements panel, that's why it has one thing up here because that's the element and then the two different contours there. So if I double click on this to highlight the whole thing, push Command X, and then now if you're gonna do this, you push Shift Command V. So that shift is very important to paste it as a different element. And now you can see up here it's in also two separate elements. Okay, what that means is that when I'm inside this one, I can change him, and when I'm inside this, I can change him there. Okay, so right now I'm in the contour tool, which is the white one. If I wanna go back to the element tool, I push V. So let me show you some view options that you should put in so that you can see what's going on here better inside your elements. So go up to view, and then go down to element frame. So he, if now let me click on something, it's gonna highlight sort of black there. And this element frame is gonna give me some information about this thing here. Okay, now let me go and let's duplicate this one by holding down option and dragging him. And I'm holding down shift also to drag him to the right. Okay, so now I have two of these. So you can see the frame tells me that I have two at the top here. So that gives me some understanding of what's going on. And the elements panel, which we'll look at more later, also tells me that there's two of those inside my font. Not just the glyph, but the whole font. Okay, now go up to view and click on show and click on element references. Now, this is sort of nice. It shows you that this one is related to this one. These are together, okay? Whenever I change something in this first one, it changes it also in the second one. You can see that happening there. So that if you've done some font design before and you know how many repeated shapes there are, you can see what the benefits of this might be. Um, if you go and lock, let me lock one of those. I wanna lock the one that's farther over there, okay? Um, and, it, and this arrow points to each one. So I consider the element that is primary to be the one that is unlocked. And you can see that the lock appears also here on the frame. Okay, so those are just a couple things for understanding how to view elements and to do some basic manipulations with those. <laughs> So I know you probably want to get to look at the drawing tools of the toolbar. Uh, we just have one more thing to look at, which are these metrics and text modes. Okay, so here you are. If you're in A here, which is the contour tool, which is the white arrow, if I click to edit metrics, then it's gonna bring me into the metrics area. Now I can adjust the metrics. Let's turn off the kerning there. Okay, so now if I hit edit kerning, that's gonna bring me into kerning mode. And then if I hit the T, then I can change this word to something else, et cetera. Okay. So those are these three tools that change the purpose of your tab. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment below. I really appreciate it.